Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habita fillah It's very important for us to know To understand And to clarify that Islam Is a way from heinous crimes Like that which took place Today with the attack on the Coptic Christians in Egypt, the killing of men, women, and children simply because of their belief. And so it's upon the Muslims to clarify these things because if the Muslims don't, who will? Who will clarify what the real dawah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is? That it's calling people from darkness to light and that it is not clouding with filth and bloodshed as is the case with the people who are extreme meaning that they tajawuz al had they have gone beyond islam and distorted the principles of islam and distorted the message of islam by their extremism the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had pacts and treaties with people of other faiths, the Jews and the Christians more specifically. And the Prophet ﷺ also had Jews and Christians in his society. And the Prophet ﷺ, in accordance with his religion, the religion of Islam, made clear for us that la darar wa la dirar the Prophet ﷺ said there is no harm and there is no reciprocating harm and in a hadith a sound hadith the hadith of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'an and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam aqal yati fi akhir zaman قوم حدثا الأسنان سفهاء الأهلام يقولون من خير قول البرية يمرقون من الإسلام كما يمرق السهم من الرمية لا يجاوز إيمانهم هناجرهم فأينما لكيتموهم فاقتلوهم فإن قتلهم أجر لمن قتلهم يوم القيامة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said about groups like this because in fact these people in the situation that we have in Egypt they are Egyptians, Egyptian Copts or Coptic Christians. It is their country. They are under the authority of their leader there and the leader and the Muslim nation guarantees their safety and their protection and the practice of their faith in safety there so it is a form of rebellion these evil criminals who uh, opened fire and killed these people but let's go back to this hadith and stay back on topic the Prophet والسلام, said, There will come in the as a sign in the in the later days a people that are young in age and not fully developed in their intellect. Sufahal Ahlam. They will have beautified speech. They will enter Islam similar to the way or yamrakuna min al-Islam they will pass through Islam or leave Islam similar to the way that the arrow passes through its prey and their faith will not pass beyond their throats so wherever you find them fight them for verily fighting them 
or killing them is a great reward on the day of judgment. This shows us that these rebellious, evil people who are known as the Khawarij, and in contemporary times, groups like Jamaat Takfir wa Hijra, which is uh, a group that developed a sect that group developed in uh, Egypt, as well as other tyrannical groups like ISIS, which is now in the Sina uh, Peninsula, and Al Qaeda and other Tikfiri groups, that they believe that they are doing something good by killing and slaughtering, and they believe that they have a shortcut court a shortcut to, to paradise when in fact as we see from the hadith that they are they are not fully developed in their intellect and this is the case with these groups when you find amongst many of their fighters and the people they recruit they're young people young people some who have returned back to Islam and mostly ignorant of the religion of Islam but they have zeal they believe they're doing good, they want to do good, they want a shortcut to paradise, and they believe by spilling blood that they will get there and attain paradise. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ هَوْلَاهِ The Prophet said about these individuals, الْخَوَارِجْ كِلَابَ النَّارِ that these rebellious individuals and groups are from the dogs of the hellfire and many narrations related to this group and extremism and the point of mentioning this is to share and remind and clarify that Islam is free from these wicked and demonic acts. And we ask Allah the Almighty during this holy month of Ramadan to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliate these evil, wicked distorters of the Islamic faith or destroy them off the face of the earth or guide them to that which is good. And may Allah protect us from any and all forms of evil, anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla, anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.